hello friends welcome to the video lecture series on a machine learning so in this tutorial we are going to see about how one can visualize this machine learning data so at the pre-processing step of applying the machine learning algorithm how you can visualize individual attributes of the data with all different ways like a histogram way or you can represent the data in your density plot uh, you can go for the box and whisker plots or a correlation matrix uh, between the individual uh, attributes. So in this tutorial we are going to see about uh, uh, this four different way of plotting your machine learning data. So you can take a better decision while applying uh, next level process of machine learning algorithm. You can tweak different parameters uh, or even hyper parameters of machine learning algorithm based on what your data are available and what your end objective is there to achieve in machine learning system design okay so uh, we are going to use about this uh, matplotlib library and uh, uh, we are going to read the data in a python pandas library for the data analysis purpose so for pandas i have already created a, a brand new video lecture series uh, the description of this uh, uh, the link in is given in a description for this video lecture series you can go about uh, and uh, go through whole video lecture series this is a part of machine learning series so i have kept this video in a machine learning uh, playlist okay so let's start about uh, how one can visualize so for uh, this purpose i have already downloaded very uh, one database which is nothing but the indian people's diabetes database and i have kept it in my local machine which is in a same directory so that is nothing but the url name for the particular file where the data is residing all data are available in a comma separated csv format uh, these are the names is attribute of individual column so one is a prag plus press skin test mass age and finally this is the classification that whether diabetes patient lies in a uh, one class of group or in a another class of group so these are all majority of scientific terms like a preg plus we will just look at it from the number perspective after that i am just reading that simple data in a re csv format so it will just uh, reference it in a data variable which is nothing but the data frame object so let's just run it okay so we have successfully imported this matplotlib library import statement plus pandas import statement let me just run it and it will create the brand new data frame object data okay let's just uh, see some of the couple of records so we'll use this head functionality to see first five records okay so it has displayed us for each and every attribute prag class press skin even test and last one is a class the second last is age so for particular uh, age people which is having a age 50 these are the attribute for single record and each row represent a single record each column represent a individual attribute now let's try to apply this histogram and uh, all those different uh, a plotting functionality on the top of this data so we can take a better decision while applying the machine learning algorithm so first of all let's see about the histogram now what is a histogram what does histogram will do so in our case we have a total almost nine different attributes are available uh, from prag plus press skin to the class and in case of histogram is trying to divide this individual each attribute into different different bin and for each of this bin how many values are available it will tell us so it will guide us to take a better decision that for particular class like a uh, particular attribute of this data like age how many people uh, age lies between this particular range or how many people range lies between another particular range so this way it will create a bin for us and it will guide us that how your data is been distributed with respect to particular bins so let's uh, try to visualize it how it goes ahead 
so uh, data is nothing but the data frame object and pandas is giving one very good functionality like a hist hist functionality so we are trying to apply this hist on the top of this data so it will create the histogram for us and we are trying to display with the help of this matplotlib library and we are referencing it as a name plt so we just need to apply this plt dot so for the visualization of particular graph so let's just run it and visualize this okay okay so it has created a brand new graph for us and for each and every attribute like a prag press skin test plus age class mass it has created a different different histogram for us so let's try to understand with the help of very uh, one attribute only like a age or even a mass so if you see this uh, age majority of people between 20 to 30 age 20 to 30 age for so whatever data are available we have majority of people lies in this 20 to 30 range which is around somewhere around 300 uh, people are there uh, somewhere 32 35 or 40 another 150 people lies so it is trying to guide us that how many people with respect to the age attribute lies in one particular range or in another particular range so it has divided all those age range between 20 to 90 now if you see another attribute like a mass it has divided the same attribute mass between 0 to 70 and majority of people uh, mass lies between this 30 for to 40 or 40 to 30 to 40 30 to 35 actually and 35 to 40 so this way it has created the small small bins of some uniform or a no, some uniform size and for each of the bin how many records are available this histogram is trying to uh, tell us so that is giving a very good information with respect to what action we need to take whether some attributes are helpful some attributes are even not helpful some in some case some data are completely concentrated in one particular bean only so it may happen that it won't give you much more information while you apply any kind of predictive analysis algorithm on the top of it so that is for the histogram now let's see what is the density plot so we can directly apply this plot functionality on the top of our data frame object before that let's try to understand what is the density plot in a la uh, previous one in a histogram we have seen that it is trying to tell us that with respect to one particular bin uniform uh, distributed one particular bin how many records are available now density plot is nothing but it's like a normalized version of the histogram so earlier in the case it was telling us that in case of histogram total number of record but in case of density plot it will tell us how many uh, instead of how many record that record has been normalized between 0 to 1 in terms of uh, density in terms of probability that with particular bin or with particular uh, attribute uh, name what are the densities are there what is the probability of occurrence of that particular value for each attributes are there so let's try to plot in and let's try to understand this thing so uh, we have a functionality like a plot is available on the top of uh, data frame object and we have a data reference here so we'll apply this plot and in a plot we'll apply one is a kind of uh, density plot that's why you can keep changing this uh, one like another box plot or any other now we have a total um, nine total subgraph we need to plot it so we need to make it subplot is equal to true subplot true total nines are there so we want to visualize it in a 3 cross 3 format that is much better for us anyone to visualize so let's put layout is equal to 3 comma 3 and share x is equal to 
false okay and last one is plt dot so because that is what actually display the plot for us plt dot so okay let's run it okay it has generated this graph for us okay now uh, let's see first of all it has generated a nine plot for us so y axis in each and every graph it is indicating the density and x axis is indicating individual attribute so let's it is almost the mash up but uh, let's try to understand with the age graph now if you see this age uh, density graph with respect to the age histogram graph it is almost kind of uh, similar the only difference is that this is the normalized version so in a y axis uh, rather than trying to show the total number of record it is trying to uh, give the information about the density of occurrence of particular value so if you consider like a 23 or 25 somewhere or 30 around the density is highest so for that particular value the probability of occurrence of that particular value with respect to whatever the data we have available is a very high so almost all data has been concentrated with respect to a somewhere around 22 or 40 age range now if you see about mass also we have earlier seen in our histogram plot also so mass is also concentrated between 20 to uh, 40 so uh, that is all about the density plot for your better decision while uh, designing the machine learning system so that's it for this lecture friends uh, uh, we have seen about the histogram plotting and a density plotting and uh, next lecture we are going to see about this box and a whisker plots and a even correlation matrix correlation plot how two individual attributes correlate with each other in a next lecture so i hope you enjoy listening this video uh, if you uh, do not understand anything please write uh, and ask in a comment if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please please do subscribe and comment on my uh, channel and support me